Coming up on this week's Jaguar Week in Review, we'll take a look at the new improvements that the band and choir have put in for the new school year. This week's Jaguar Week in Review starts now. <laughs> Announcements for today. Are you a big volunteer? Local students who have done significant community service over their high school years are eligible for the Prudential Spirit of the Community Award. Any students in grades 5 through 12 interested in applying, please see Mr. Walsh immediately for the application. The final program application is due by November 5th. Online applications can be found at spirit.prudential.com. Attention 9th and 10th graders. There will be an informational meeting on October 1st at 6.30 p.m. in the High School Media Center for our 2021 trip to Costa Rica. Please let Mrs. Coach will know if you will plan to attend the meeting. FFA members who would like to compete at the University of Minnesota invite should sign up with Mr. Rogers as soon as possible. The date is Wednesday, October 9th, and the contest, and the contest are dairy, livestock, poultry, soils, and horse. There will be a homecoming dance Friday for all 9th through 12th graders after the football game. The dance will end at 11 p.m. and the cost is $3 per person. Homecoming dates. Friday, Pep Fest starts at 2.30. Tailgating in the parking lot, Royal Cart is announced before BB Varsity football starting lineups. Friday is Jaguar Pride. Activities for today. Varsity football game versus Browville Eagle Valley at home at 7 o'clock. Good luck, Jags. With the new school year, some new things have been added to the high school. Reporter Destiny Hoffer will help us learn about the new system that has been incorporated into band and choir. One of the things that schools provide is an opportunity to lead. This year, students are finding opportunities in places they haven't before. Um, our high school experiences, we each had these leadership positions, so we come from the background of having that in the music department. But also this summer I was talking to a few colleagues who have the leadership positions at their own schools, and they said that it really just um, it helps unify the band, and there's, there's so many things that us as directors do behind the scenes that people don't really see. The music students also believe that these leaders could contribute in one way or another. I would say the mood has improved. Um, even just voting and nominating for it was really fun. And it's helped us get more organized and allowed us to get ready faster. And I think it's gonna help a lot for Pet Band. The council consists of many jobs, a manager, secretary, group captain, section leaders, and more. Uh, this school year, I really hope that the leaders do what we intend them to do, which is lead. Uh, I hope that they really embrace their positions and do um, not just what they're supposed to, but just go above and beyond. Having student leadership can do amazing things for the program and amazing things for the students because they have those role models to look up to and to help get things done. Not only does being a member of the council help with leadership skills, but also can affect a student in the future. Uh, this, these jobs also look really good on resumes, regardless of if you're going into music or not. Having a leadership position in high school, especially in something different like band or choir, it looks really great on a resume. Reporting for Jaguar Week in Review, I'm Destiny Hopfer. We can't wait to see how this will benefit our musical students. Thanks for that, Destiny. Lunch for today. First choice, walking taco. Second choice, chicken fajitas. Third choice, chef salad. If you haven't signed up for your Connect yet, you should do that now. Have a great day, BBE.